Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to discuss pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So in this tutorial, first I'll explain what is pre-order traversal. Then we will implement pre-order traversal using iterative and recursive approach. Also in coming video tutorials, I'll cover in-order and post-order traversal and their implementation. Before starting with the pre-order traversal, let me ask you a very simple question. What is binary tree traversal? Let me know your thought through comment. In simple words, traversing a binary tree means visiting each node of the binary tree exactly once. So visiting each node of the binary tree exactly once. And it can be done through in depth first manner using pre-order, post-order or in-order traversal or in breadth first manner using level order traversal. So level order traversal i have already explained in my previous video tutorial and the link of that video tutorial is present in the description box now in this video tutorial uh, i'm going to cover pre-order traversal so let's start with the pre-order traversal in pre-order traversal first we visit the root then we traverse the left subtree of root we traverse the left subtree of root then we traverse the right subtree of root. So let's print the pre-order traversal of this binary tree. So we have to start with the root. First, let's visit the root. So let me write one. Then we have to traverse the left subtree of root. So let's visit the left child of uh, this root, which is two. So first let's print two. Then now imagine in this way, Two is the root for uh, their children, which is four and five. So again, when we consider this two as the root, then the left subtree of this root is this part and the right subtree of this root is this part. So we have to visit its left child, which is four. And again, this as the root. Now its left and right children are null. So we have visited this uh, node. We have visited this node. Now, next we have to visit its right child, which is five. So we have visited all the nodes in the left subtree. Now we have to visit the right subtree of this root. So we start, we first move to this node three. So let's print three. Then we have to move to its left subtree and in left subtree the node is 6 so let's visit it and after that we visit 7 so this is the pre-order traversal of this binary tree so now uh, let's see this example so in this example first one its left subtree is null so next step is to visit this node 2 and after that first left and then right so when we uh, move to left it is three and for this their left and right children is null and let's uh, for this node let's visit its right child which is null so its pre-ordered traversal is one two three so this is how pre-ordered traversal works let's implement them using iterative and recursive approach so first we implement pre-order traversal using iterative approach and then we will implement them using recursively so let's start with the iterative approach let's implement pre-order traversal using iterative approach and for its implementation here i am using a stack data structure so in this method let's first see the method signature so in this method we have given the reference of root node as an argument and we have to return the list of node values traverse in pre-order fashion now uh, here i am using a stack data structure so let's visualize how this approach is working so let me draw a stack and when we traverse this binary tree in pre-order fashion i'm storing the result values in a list so initially when i declare stack I'll, I put this node in a stack. So I'm writing its value, but here uh, the value we are storing in stack is of tree node type. 
So initially, when I declare a stack, I push uh, this node in a stack, and then we run a loop while the stack is not empty. So when we push one, so stack is not empty. So after that, the first step is to pop this value. So let me pop from a stack and we we pop this node from a stack and we store the node value in a list. So let me first add one in a list. And after that, we take its right children first and push them in a stack. Then we take its left children and we push them in a stack. And why we have a uh, first push right and then left because we have to traverse the left subtree first and then the right subtree. So stack is our last and first out data structure. The element which we pushed first, uh, the element which we pushed at last is the first element to be popped out. So now in next iteration, we popped out two. So two is removed from the stack and we put its value in a list and again we take first its right children five let me push them in a stack and then we take its left children and push them in a stack then in next iteration the element which is present at the top of the stack is four so four uh, is popped out first so let me add them in a list and its left and right children are null. So nothing to be pushed in a stack. So in again, in next iteration, five is the element which is present at the top of the stack. So let me push from a stack and add them in a list. And again, its left and right children is null. So nothing to be pushed in a stack. So after that, in next iteration, still the stack has one node in it so it is not empty so in next iteration the node to be popped out from a stack is three so three is present at the top of this stack now so popped out three add the values in a list and then first the right subtree so first its right children so seven and then its left children which is six so now in next iteration, six is present at the top of the stack. So six is to be popped out first. So add its value and its left and right children is null. So nothing to be pushed in a stack. And in, in next iteration, seven to be popped out and let's add its value in a stack. And its left and right children is null, nothing to be added in a stack. And after that stack is empty. So we came out of this loop and we return its result. So here is the code F first. So this, this condition is a straightforward. If root is null, simply return the empty list. Else declare a stack, which holds the value of tree node type. Initially put a root node in a stack, then run a loop while the stack is not empty. Then pop the value, which is present at the top of the stack, then add its value in a result. And then first check if it's right children is not null, then push them in a stack. If it's left children is not null, then push them in a stack. And in next iteration, again, we pop the element which is present at the head of the stack. And this loop will run until stack is not empty. And after that, we return its result. And here is the pre-order traversal of this binary tree. Now let's talk about its time and space complexity. So its time complexity is big O of n and its space complexity is also big O of n. We are using uh, extra space. We have declared uh, the stack to hold uh, the value of tree node type. Now uh, this is the iterative approach uh, for pre-order traversal. Let's see how we can implement them recursively. Let's discuss the recursive implementation of a binary tree pre-order traversal. So for recursive implementation, here is the three line of code 
which will do the pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So first we added the value of a root node in a list. Then we traverse, first we traverse the left subtree of a root. Then we traverse the right subtree of a root. And how it works, let's visualize it. So first we start with the root. We put one in a list. Then we visit its left subtree its left child so it will call itself recursively and in this call first we add two then again this function will call itself uh, and passing the reference of its left child so we move here and we add four then so each call each recursive call is put in a call stack so the call so in 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 stack the element which we pushed at last is the first element to be popped out so first one then two then four and each call is put in a call stack so the last call will be popped out first so let's see uh, how so then for four we pass the reference of its left child which is null so it returns from that call we come back here we pass its right child which is also null when this line of code is executed so we come back again here and we go back to its previous call where we already visited to now we have to visit its right child so this line of code will be executed so we move here and we first uh, add five and then we pass its reference so then we pass the reference of its left child which is null so we return from that call then we pass the reference of its right child which is also null then we return from this call and we move back here where i mean its left subtree is already traversed, already visited, and we have to move to its right child. So first we pass the reference of its right child, which is three. So first we add three. And then in this call for three, first left child is called, which is six. And then for this node, first its left child is called which is null so it returns from that call and then its right child reference of its right child is pass it's also returned from that call so we move back to here and we pass its right child which is seven and for seven also first its reference of left child which is null is passed we return from that call and then we pass the reference of its right child which is also null and we return from that call and finally we return its result we return this result which is the pre-order traversal of this binary tree so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is also big O of n. For for each recursive call, the call stack, uh, the for each uh, in recursion, each call is put in a call stack. So I mean, it is not the explicit stack which we used in iterative approach, but it's an implicit uh, uh, stack uh, which will be used automatically when uh, when function is called recursively. So this is the time and space complexity uh, of this approach. So that's it for this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I have discussed two approaches, uh, the iterative and recursive approach for binary tree pre-order traversal. And uh, for more such programming videos, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. You can visit our website, which is https://webrewrite.com. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Thank you.